All right. Now I need people to talk because my thing's not. Hello, hello. The mito mito mitochondria is the powerhouse of this cell. That took you a moment. It's been a while. <laughs> I just watched a TikTok that made me want to cry a little bit. Oh. Because it's like, if you're a millennial that was born between like up to like 1990, like from like, I think it's like eight, like up to 92, these four seconds of a song of a song from a movie will make you cry no matter how cold-hearted you are. <laughs> What's the song? It's the music from when Littlefoot's mom dies. From Land Before Time. Oh. Oh. Um. Can you, can you link that? I want to try it. <laughs> I'm 12 years older than what it's supposed to be, but I'd like to try. <laughs> now, if you play the music of Optimus Prime dying, I'm definitely going to break out in tears. To make a millennial cry. Oh, no, I'm only going to play four seconds of the song. I'll send it to you. A long time since I watched Land Before Time. Same. Uh, since it came out, but still, that tragic moment. They're 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 claiming it's a millennial thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if it if it affects a someone who is it's twelve years guaranteed old. Guaranteed to make a millennial cry. So I would have been first. I'm only gonna play. When did that come out? Four seconds of the song from this film. This moment okay, in so film came history out in 88. Well, so, is we had born from VHS. 1979 to 1992. Oh, These four seconds are guaranteed to make you cry. I don't care. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. Pause. Pause just a moment. <laughs> they, he said from 72 to 92. That's not millennials. That's not millennial. It's like millennial. It's and... Impossible. All I have to say is one name. Mid eighties, early eighties. The name is Littlefoot. And the music is. Ah, uh, some are saying nineteen seventy-seven to ninety-five. That's right. It's a scene in a movie that's no, guaranteed uh, didn't work. to make a millennial cry. I oh, didn't watch it. Enough. Anybody who's going to be watching this vod is going to break out in tears of the appropriate age. No, no, I, it, 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 based off of what I was seeing in that, they were claiming that millennials were 72 to, to 92. No, I think that's Gen X or something, or Gen, yeah, Gen X. I think, like, I know, like, 88 to, like, 92, those are cuspers between Gen X and millennials. <laughs> My favorite part in Lion King is when, uh, uh, God, what are their names? The king gets dropped from, a, ooh, Mufasa. You would. From a delay. That game. would be your favorite part, dog killer. <laughs> Bring this up. Every opportunity. Forever. Forever. I didn't do that on purpose, though. I love dogs. No! No, that's the yeah, worst I know part. you didn't do it on purpose. You, you asked for a dog, and I'm thinking, hmm, what do these, would these would these zombies do? When order only asked us, I would like a dog. Okay. Sounds like you're hungry. Okay. Anyways. Uh, should we should we get into uh, more traumatizing uh, Lassiter? I'm always down for traumatizing Lassiter, but Fair we can go. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Bears and Dragons, the uh, Cubs Out Loud show where uh, 
A bunch of us nerdy ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. We play Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, we went traditional today. Yeah, I didn't like how it happened last time, so I I'm keeping with what works. Yeah, okay. it's probably a good idea. Yeah, I experimented for a little bit, didn't like it. Now I'm back. So, uh, I'm sorry to everybody who uh, watched the show uh, uh, last show. Uh, I was an idiot and forgot to check our audio. Uh, but what happened last time? Do you may remember what happened last time? I believe two words might might be a good description for at least part of it, and that would be Daddy Ront. Or Lassiter Bitch. <laughs> Either one. Because he is, Lassiter is Ranch's bitch now, pretty much. Uh, but we traveled mostly. Um, fought some fire, uh, giant fire beetles. A lot of years than we thought it was going to be. But um, did some traveling, found some, out about some fungi, some poisonous ones, some non-poisonous ones, some ones that have different attributes. Uh, last year when uh, like did I guess he was bored out of his minds and started to experiment with the mushrooms throughout the whole thing. Um, at one point, like towards the end of our last, like right before we woke up, this last past um, long rest, uh, I Roderick found the um, dwarves that were trying to escape from Garkelsdug. That I helped get out of their manacles and offer them some rations and information on where some good places to stop are and good food, uh, some possible nutritional values of mushroom. Did you tell the... us about that? We haven't, we just literally woke up. There has not been time yet. Okay. So. All right, so you finish your uh, watches. Uh, long everybody gets a long rest. That's why I still have damage because I I don't I try not to do a long rest until you confirm long rest. The long rest completes. Yes, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Wake up. <laughs> What would you like to do? Who, who was on my morning uh, exercises? Who was on um last lot? Um, Cyrus Owl was over. Yeah. So I... with uh, little poor cat. <laughs> oh, Cyrus. Silva, Silva, Cyrus is familiar. And little yeah, Borkad. And you're familiar. Okay. A well, little Borkad wasn't really watching. He was more of like keeping Sosa company. You're oh. familiar that you keep forgetting about. Uh, but, um, let me just say, like, Lasseter himself probably is not forgetting about Borkad. It's just me forgetting. It's the player so forgetting. forgetting <laughs> about his familiar. This is what happened when you asked the DM to, to make choices for you. I'm not used to having familiars. I'm, I'm used to playing like a unfamiliar characters. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll uh, check on Borkhead, ask him how things were. Did he make friends? Uh, yeah. He just kind of gives you a, a little, little shrug, because Sova's owl was pretty much just, the Sova was just looking around, just kind of ignoring the <laughs> poor cat. Uh, is is Sova a owl? Yes. Um, I'm. I asked poor cat, does uh, does it do that, uh, neck? thing where owls just turn their heads in 360 180 maybe it kind of spins around yeah yes it does yes she does 
<laughs> Silva is still still perched on on uh, the rock that that they were were before. And as you're you're talking to the the workout about this, uh, it literally turns its head completely <laughs> around and looks at you. And goes, Ooh. and it turns its head back. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Oh, I'm never going to talk about you again. Um. So this is a little more all business than pleasure. Here's me. <laughs> um, how is everyone? I'm ready, ready to get out of these damn tunnels. The, the, these tunnels are probably uh, our lives now. Uh, but they will end. I, uh, good chance that they will end. We should probably get going. Uh, let's let's get something in our uh, stomachs first, I guess. Leaf conjures some more good berries, I believe. How you've been sustaining mm -hmm. yourself so far. And if people want, I can prestigitate them to taste however they want. I'm gonna have mine taste like L. They taste deliciously like like a really good ale that you've had. There's just something about it that's just not just you miss still it it has the taste but there's just something about it that's just like making it lackluster she'll make one taste like ront now <laughs> <laughs> how would you know a ront tastes how indeed um how are we smelling? Do we do we do we smell bad? Yeah, you wouldn't be able to tell. Actually, give me a perception check. I probably smell a bit rap just from the working out. Nice. And I'm sampling the local flora, the fun guy for breakfast. Uh when you actually go to actually, you know, try to perceive how well you guys smell, you figure 23, 24 days on the road uh -huh. with no one declaring that they ever were washing up, you probably smell pretty right. But you've also been around this, so... You probably wouldn't have actually known or as it realized grows, like, it. As it's grown, the stank has grown. We've come accustomed to it. Besides the... Uh, There's a lake nearby. Yeah, besides yeah, the we obvious lake that. that we're obviously not gonna go to, has there been anywhere we could like just wash up? Take a little rinse or whatever. Nope. Not that you've run across. Cool. So we'll just internally, eternally? Yeah. Dirty. Honestly, it's starting to bug you a little bit now that you've actually perceived it. Normally, if people were passively just going on, you probably wouldn't have worried about it. But now it's feeling a little raunchy. You guys are gross. I'll try my best not to make anyone else aware of this fact. You do perceive that Syra doesn't really have that bad of a smell. She's been perfuming herself daily with presentation. I was about to say, like, you can clean yourself daily. Like... She, she doesn't have an ounce. Like she doesn't have an ounce of dirt on her. 
Oh, she's very prissy, so, you know, image is everything. <laughs> There's a reason why that was the first spell she ever learned. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I want to stay clean. All right. Excuse me. And off you go into the caves. Uh, Sarath kind of still kind of like has that general direction of where another light grove is. And you know, or from what you have learned from from Bupito is that if you follow the Dark Lake, you run run up into Grackle's dude. And you kind of need to go that way on the way to Neverlight Grove. So getting the general direction of Neverlight Grove means you're at least going in the right direction. But you really don't have a guide, so you're not sure how much longer you actually have until you get to Crackles. We have a map, don't we? No. Nope. No? I mean, the players have a map, but characters okay. don't. But you've been sticking around the, the Dark Lake, so you've been able to kind of have a some somewhat sort of guide we have you just net. right now it's more of you don't know how far out you are from from grackle stug you just know at least you're going in the right direction yeah. the dark lake is to your right that's pretty much much what you're what you've figured out at this time and as long as you're relatively close grackle stug should you should just run into it All right, off you go. I need a D20 roll, please. I got it. What does a 16 have for us? Oh, boy. Is it combat? Uh, you're traveling through through some additional tunnels. Uh, you get one that actually skirts out onto the shore, leading just to another place where you have to enter another tunnel. Of course. But uh, around a little bend and into a curve, you come to a big open area off the coast of... Uh, right off the shore of the Dark Lake. Uh, phosphorescent mushrooms are dimly lit... and lichen are dimly lit lighting the area is a nice open area this is suspicious uh perception checks yeah i'm definitely down for that i perceive all <laughs> i have the shotting gun Find a good thing here. Uh, we'll just have to scratch paper. All right, <sighs> Roderick. Hi. Roll me a d twenty. Hey, Capitan. Seventeen. We fight 17 giant beetles. It's a swarm. As you're watching, uh, walking along the shore, you find... I want me a D10. One adult. White dragon. Amethyst dragon. It's gonna be an amethyst dragon. Because we're in the other. I wonder if I have a thing. A dragon. Uh, 
Scary Dargan. I mean, this guy. He seems to be ha have some uh, vials of water. Water and examining some something in the dark lake. Just vials of water. Yeah, he looks like he's trying to do some science. Excuse me, sir. What is it that you're doing down there? He looks at you and then sparks starts speaking to you in uh, Elvish. Do you speak Elvish? I do. You do? Yep. It was by by hello there. Um, I'm just studying some some of this water. I'm wondering if if it might have anything to do with that might ha be affected by the fetters residence around this place is very interesting aspect of science. Hey, and all this in Elvish. Oh, uh, well, you have a quite a large party here. Are you making a trip somewhere? We're hoping to get out of here eventually. We're heading to Grecklestube. Oh, no, relatively close. Uh, if you keep going that way, and it kind of points down to one of the very few corridor or few exits from this uh, open area, and it's only about a five days walk. Where have you come from? I mean, you, other ways would have been to travel through via the Dark Lake if you had some boats, but I suppose you don't have any. I don't see you having any. Uh. About the Dark Lake, uh, is there anything about it that we should be worried about? Lassiter, what languages do you speak? Fuck. Damn it. I didn't say that. You I don't ask me to ask them. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what you're all talking about, so I, had, mm -hmm. I'll, I won't have a reason to ask that. So, um, carry on. Sir, I do speak. Um... No, I don't. I speak Sylvan, not mm. Elvish. It's a, it's, it sounds like a familiar language, but you can't quite understand it. You might be getting the gist of what it's saying, but the but the language is like not Sylvan. Definitely not Sylvan. Well, close. <laughs> sounds it's familiar, but are are we uh are we using the whole uh? Orcs don't like elves thing -ness in here. Well, if we did, Rot would have an issue with Syrah. Right? I'm only half elf. <laughs> well, you don't know how bad, bad some orcs don't like elves. I think Rot, well, Rot really doesn't like one type of elf. That would be the drow. But he's had been hanging out with, with, um, Sarah, or at least he's been tolerating Sarah right now. You kind of have a full elf, it's just brow elf. I think right now he's probably not really caring too much. He just wants to get out of here. Okay. And take you with him. And Leaf is an elf too, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um. If, if he is, if he doesn't like elves, He's keeping it. He, he has it. He's keeping it to himself. Um, Tyra, can you, um, like, tell them like we've all kind of been staying away from this lake just out of fear of the unknown. Can you ask him yeah. if, um, if if that fear is necessary or if we're just over dramatic? 
Yes, I would. I would be very careful about standing near the lake. Uh, a few, t at least once or twice now, we've encountered some sort of force that's been messing with our minds. I I couldn't speak for for a few days. Oh, really? Yeah, also... That's very interesting. Tell me, were you around Ferris Red when it happened? Uh, where are we? He quickly uh, pulls something out, out, out of his uh, 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 pouch and <laughs> fix it and, and puts some goggles over his eye, eyes as he moves a uh, lens in front of it and comes up really close to you and look at you. Could you open your mouth? I want to see if maybe it affected something in your vocal cords. He brings up a little, uh, a, a little like wand and shines a light into your throat if you open your mouth. <laughs> she'll kind of look at him kind of puzzled, like, what are you doing? But she'll, she'll comply for now, like, okay. No, 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 no. It doesn't look like there's anything a little swollen, but that may be for other reasons. Uh, yeah, oh, nope, you're perfectly fine. Um, but if it was around Ferris Res, it has been known to cause madness, especially if there's magic. Been having some issues lately. Me and my fellows uh, have with teleportation, although it's the easiest way to get around the underdark. Uh, but uh, anything like that is around around when we do it. Ooh, don't want to know what might happen. Oh, actually, I kind of do, especially hey. if you have some sort of way to get out of here. Uh, sorry, sorry to uh, you know be uh an intrusion or whatever but uh could we possibly speak in common uh, we're we're all over here and uh we don't understand what you're saying it would just be helpful you know lancer uh i i know it's rude but we're a group and um i don't know i'm feeling a bit left out here <laughs> Oh. I'm sorry, Mother taught me better than this. Here, uh, do you speak any other languages? Well, I more commonly speak to Elvish than under common. But you seem to have an Elfish nature, so that's why I chose, I chose Elvish. Not much for, for the surface world, honestly. Is he speaking Elvish again? He's still speaking Elvish. I was say, if you switch over to Dwarvish or Undercommon, I would have understood it. Um, Lasser just rate, uh, just in the air. There's something wrong with your friend there. <laughs> just walks away. He just, he just shrugs. I hope he is okay. Is everyone okay? How long have you been traveling through the Underdark? Where are you trying to go? Crackle Steve, and she'll turn around and. Oh, by the way, what what's what is your name? Oh, my name is Y. Huh. And then she'll turn around and introduce him to the rest of the group and do the yeah, same he, for him. He looks he looks to be a Darrow, the same type of race that Lupito was. Just howdy. Hey, hey um. Me. And she'll she'll turn and explain what he's been doing. And I am a scientist. He's been, it seems he's been studying the water here at at uh, Dark Lake. Uh, since we're on this subject of their race, um, I've noticed on all of their pictures, oh. um, they have like a uh, weird neck. Is that just a race? That's thing? just collars. Those are just collars because it's just a headshot. Yeah. Are are they just clothing collars? Yeah, it's or... just clothing collars. Okay. Just wondering if it was something that we should probably be worried about. Nope. Okay. Cool beans. 
glasses. He looks too. rather well dressed in kind of some uh, robes. He looks very clean. Oh, tell me something. You seem to be rather well in hygiene. Have you told them they could take a bath or something? The the water is perfectly fine. It's just some of the creatures that might be in it. Just need to check to see if there's any any dangerous creatures nearby. If not, whoop, splash, splash, everything's fine. We'll turn up, repeat what he said to the rest of the group, and then turn Whoa, back. And... I've been wondering about that. I'm She'll turn back here. around and like, but aren't you? A f how, how, how would you know that there's dangerous creatures in there until it's too late? I mean, you just have to look. I usually don't venture far off the shore if I ever need to need to take a bath and I'm near the dark lake. She'll turn I she'll turn back to the group. Has has anyone seen anything dangerous in the lake? I haven't. Not in the lake. We've seen stuff around the lake, but nothing really in it. Um uh remembering that night with the guy the insane guy or whatever mm -hmm. going to the lake was there anything specifically about the lake that would make me say fuck that or was that just in my head no it just seemed like he walked in and drowned himself oh okay so we're, we're like right by the lake then right still yeah right nearby Big, right. it's a big cavern just right on the shore of the lake. Okay. Well, while you try to figure out everything that's still going on, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go bathe. Because I know, even just without the whole me working out type thing, I stink, probably. So, I do to you, sir. Looking at why. And I head to the lake to wash myself up. <laughs> I believe my companions are gonna take you up on your offer. Take the opportunity oh. to go clean themselves. Is yes, there... I, I've not seen any dangerous creatures. There's some fish in there, but then, you know that's just like any other lake, I suppose. I will... She'll turn and tell the group that, according to him, it looks safe to him. He hasn't seen anything. I am already on my way. <laughs> I will hesitantly follow uh, Roderick. Grunt. Takes off all of his clothes and jumps in. He 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 comes up uh, up after kind of diving under the under the water, looks at you and smirks. I want to be. Careful. And as you approach, he goes. He he then gives you a a evil eye look, like you're not doing it right. First off, perception check for the uh, water sure. the contents, whatever. 19? You don't see anything? It doesn't look like anything. You do see some things that are movement, but it's probably just fish. Uh, question. With attunement things, um, if you take them off, like set them aside you don't lose attunement yeah you, you don't just automatically lose attunement uh you would have to like have it away from you for like an hour or something yeah okay. uh then fuck it i'll drip dump in so do you take everything off everything 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 all right so take off your shirt Take up your pants, pick, pick up some boots. Take off your necklace. You take one step towards the water and you have the worst headache you have ever had in your life. You just fall flat in your face. Oh my god. Someone help me get him out of the water. I'm underwater right now. Ron kind of charges up in the water, up to the water, kind of gets on, on his knee, knees, 
<laughs> he's like, boy, wake up, wake up. Oh, we're gonna have a. Uh... Anybody wants to roll medicine check? I'm currently underwater. Just can you breathe underwater? I don't have to breathe. Oh fuck! Medicine check. <laughs> <laughs> Breathing is not a thing for a dampier. Breathing. All right. Uh, so this seems to be the effect of you notice that his he is he went completely pale as soon as he took off that scaled necklace. And it looks like he's under the effect of some sort of withdrawal because he's starting to like curl up in a ball. And it looks like he's just has a really harsh migraine. I think the ambulance is right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, is he breathing? My yeah, he's breathing. It's just, yeah. Go ahead and make a Constitution save, uh, uh, Lasser. Con save. Yeah, do it with disadvantage, please. I'm just gonna roll twice. More. Seven. Okay. Yeah, it's it hurts. You you are very familiar with this effect. You know exactly what's going on. In my conscience. Yeah, you're conscious. It's just. You're in a lot of pain. It's not oh. damage; it's just pain. Power uh, You could pain. really use a drink right now. <laughs> and I'm familiar with this feeling. Yeah. Just, it, but this is like times ten. Uh, the fuck, the fuck, the fuck. <laughs> fuck is in the air. The fuck, the fuck. <laughs> There's what shit everywhere. Um, uh, they let it, uh, your uh, little boar cat uh, come um, comes up to you, and it looks like he sighs, shakes his head, and he goes over to to the uh, scale necklace and picks it up with his mouth and brings it over to you. That's cute. Uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna. Uh. Would it be obvious that that's what that is? You know, you didn't start feeling very well as soon as you took that off. Like, instantaneously. It's like, you took it off and you're like... Douche. Blink, blink. Just, oh, and fuck. then as you're going over, you're like, oh my... Boom. Just kind of... You, you feel like you're going to pass out, but... You, the pain is so much, it's it's not even letting you pass out. I snatched the necklace, or whatever it is, mm -hmm. and put it back on. Okay. Your on eyes like are no longer aching. The pain is... It's like an after effect. Like, like the end of, of a headache. You get a little bit of euphoria from the endorphins that are going through your through your body right now uh, from trying to relieve yourself of the pain, uh, biochemically speaking. But now you feel how, fine. How far in the undressing process did I get before I uh, died? Well, how quickly would you have, have taken off, off the necklace? Would that have been one of your first things, or somewhere in the middle of your your undressing? I would probably be after, right after the uh, like shirt. Okay. So you probably still have your pants on. Cool. <laughs> Ront uh, is disappointed. Ront is currently on his knees, looking at you this entire time, completely buck ass naked. Just. Well. This is embarrassing. <laughs> you just getting whacked in the face, just <laughs> you flexing. Just wake up. Uh, not, not that much. He's 
he's more focused on, on being like, look, he's my bitch. I don't want him to be dead. <laughs> oh, my heart. <laughs> uh, well, this sucks. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I'm pretty close to dying. Uh, this next list is pretty much saving my life at the moment. I don't know what it is. Uh, can I? Can I remember? Do I remember when uh, it when it appeared? Uh, I would definitely say that that you remembered that you were going through the draw like a day or two into the journey to Gracklestug, and um, during the night, during fitful slumber, you had a dream where your patron had talked to you and said, hey, stay with me. And uh, you woke up, and there it was. I'll look at Borghead. Uh... Uh, he he kind of sits back on his haunches and kind of crosses his arms. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I think. I, I'm not entirely sure. He just kind of goes... <sighs> and and you, you could swear he rolled, rolls his eyes at you. Whatever. <laughs> I don't need your sass are you, today. <laughs> are you feeling okay? Can you stand? Oh, yeah. I, I feel great now. Thank you for checking up. Um, it appears that I am uh, still going through the whole withdrawal thing. Uh, and this... Is it a necklace or what? It's necklace. it's a necklace with a little scale, like dragon scale, looking uh, amulet or uh, on the hanging from it. This thing, <laughs> amulet, is keeping me from um, feeling horrible. Apparently, uh, that's all. Uh, and not, not to uh, be rude or anything, but I kind of need a bath. Uh, so I finish undressing. Sorry, Syra. Uh, and just Goodness. grab a Ront's hand and go. Ront picks you up uh, as soon as you're, you're buck-ass naked and just kind of like uh, uh, suplexes you into the water. I'm fine with that. I bet you are, big boy. You see Jim Jarred and uh, also kind of uh, and the others doing it, but they're doing it a little more modestly than Ront is. Um, they are removing clothing, but they're not necessarily removing everything. Um, and going in just to, to you know, Keep their clothes dry. Because <laughs> it is the Underdark. You don't get any sun to really dry anything off. So, who knows. Uh, stool uh, comes up to the edge of the water and just kind of like wades. There's a little splashing. <laughs> Some of the water really kind of like comes onto him and it kind of just kind of like soaks into him. So it doesn't seem like he wants to really go that far in or anything, just stays in the lake. This whole time, Roderick's just been under the water. This before even Ron and stuff got in, just Roderick's been in. Underneath. Is there like a uh, nearby rock that Sarah can go behind for us for a moment? Yep. So It's an open behind. area, but there's the, there's rocks and stuff like that. She'll, she'll kind of slip behind the rock and... Like, so, so if it sits on top and walk, kind of watches everybody to make sure nobody is watching for you. Keep it a look out. Just keep watch for a moment. And she'll, she'll undress, but she'll quickly, like, minor illusion herself, like a fake like bikini. So she's naked, but 
doesn't look like she is. Uh, I, I I will say there's kind of like a a rock rocky outcrop that kind of, kind of goes in, so you could do like a little behind the curtain bathing if you wanted to. Yeah, so she'll she'll kind of slip in and just kind of keep it's, herself. <laughs> it's like it's like a Japanese bathhouse, you know, where where the women have one side and everybody else has another. So she'll oh. take Haley's hand and like here, come with me. <laughs> Don't forget, leave. Where is Leaf? Good question. Leaf, you beat it. We're joining the talk. Leaf is just, I don't know what he's doing. Stoned off. Is he going to join everybody and taking a bath in the lake? Yeah. He'll do it privately, though. He'll be away from everyone. Okay. It is a large cavern, so you can really spread out. There's rocky places where you can, can be behind and be more private if necessary. Bront doesn't care who sees his uh, his Franks. and Franks. Uh, I was a Benjamin soldier. Frank. This is this type of stuff that you get used to. I bet it is, soldier boy. Ront, uh, Ront does a little like back floating with you kind of on his, on his chest and he's got his arms wrapped around you. Uh, what is um, I swear I'm gonna remember how to pronounce his name. Uh, Borcad doing. Borcad is swimming. He's actually swimming around you and Ront. You, oh, you didn't know it, but a pseudo dragon can do a little swimming. What? Also, he's what? a familiar, so apparently he can swim anyways, even if they technically couldn't. <laughs> what type of dragon is he again? He, he's a pseudo dragon. He's a gold one. Okay. Yeah, that that's why I was asking his color. Um, okay. He, just, you, he you do see him kind of being. Um, on the surface, just kind of, kind of uh, floating. And you, you see that he kind of looks down, that he kind of <laughs> under the water, and just kind of disappears for a minute. Uh, uh, can I look for him? Uh, you go ahead and kind of, kind of look, look for him. Uh, Rot loosens his grip, so you can kind of move around and look around. And uh, you see him coming up from the water, and in his in his mouth is a fish. It's not a big fish. But it's a fish. Do you need to eat? And he just kind of like chomps it down. <laughs> it was big enough for a pseudo dragon. <laughs> uh, can I? You get the impression he gives you the thoughts with he enjoys eating. He just doesn't really need to. <laughs> Can I look for Roderick? Uh, go ahead and uh, give me a perception check. Okay. And if, Roderick, if you don't want to be seen, you can roll stealth. But if, if you don't really care, then don't worry about it. I'm not trying to hide. I'm just I've just been underwater the whole okay. time. Okay. Um, you have no idea where Roderick is. He's a big guy. He's a... Uh, he can take care of himself, I, I guess. We have seen that plenty of times that he can take care of himself. Uh, hopefully he has food. <laughs> plenty of fish down there, I guess. Uh... And, uh I'll just continue getting cleaned up, uh, playing with Ront, whatnot, and making making special care that we do not do anything um, obvious uh, uh, on on the fun side of 
activities. Mm -hmm. The adult fun. Yeah, because, you know, he he explicitly said, Grackles, dude, and I'm trying my best to respect that command. Let's He's not that. helping, by the way. What what kind of fun stuff are y'all doing then? I mean, do you know what or considers to be fun stuff, quote unquote? Oh, we're just doing the whole uh, tea tea stuff. That's nothing beyond that, uh, unless I mean, he... there's a lot that he's doing a little bit of uh, uh, a little bit uh, of uh, poking and prodding uh, out of sight of others. <laughs> Below the surface. If you're he... not going like too far or anything, but he's not making it easy. That's all I gotta say. I will. You, I haven't, will... you haven't committed a misdemeanor yet. <laughs> if Roderick can see these two while he's underwater, I can see sixty feet. Mm -hmm. More than likely, I can see him. Mm -hmm. I will go with his lead. Thirty boys. And if if he says it's okay, uh, if that's what he wants, then sure. But unless he says... Anytime you reach for any, uh, quote-unquote, inappropriate place, uh, he does slap your hand away and winks. Okay. Do I was like, it? I can touch it. Kind of the, the idea you're getting. I see. <laughs> Runt isn't trying to, to be that stealthy in any of these maneuvers. So I see. Mm, yep. Dirty boys. Wasn't there a song? <laughs> Roderick is just like down at the bottom of, the, of a deeper deeper part of the yeah, like the like, like inclines down. He's like he's the unclean it. He's now just like. Laying there, just laying on the bottom of the dark lake, just watching everything, seeing what it can see sixty feet out. Okay. Uh, you, Roderick, you wouldn't necessarily be able to see Stool though, because he's not that far enough into the lake for you to really see from where you are. He, like, just the the shorter, like, the shallower down, places. I'd be like looking kind of like up and not mm -hmm. towards the shore line, mm -hmm. but just like kind of up and like further out. Mm -hmm. What about Ceres? What can I see him at any point? Yeah, he's he's around. Okay, he's a he uh, in Jim Jar and uh, uh, well, um, Shushar has actually gone further and he's. He actually spotted Roderick, uh, and but he's being the fish person that he is can definitely dive deeper than most people. I just see um, uh, Shishar just. He just gives a little wave. Water people. <laughs> You're a water vampire, dampire, dampire. Dump here. Dump here. Dump here. It's the beach episode. Yeah. <laughs> we got a beach episode. We didn't get one last season, last campaign. Got one. Got one now. I had a jungle episode or forest episode. I don't know. <laughs> he died. That's what died. And he was in the forest or whatever. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. I'll finally breach the surface and head back towards shore. Jesus, were you down there all this time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Apparently, he knows how to hold his breath pretty well. Was the that shark, shark who's coming out? Yeah. You were down there too. Oh yes. He's a fish person. Is I... more is a more of a familiar environment for me. That Sorry, I'm not sure what you're right. 
That's okay. We're at Kuatoa. Kuatoa. My apologies. But it is understandable. You, you probably didn't know about people. You can tell that he is of a very high water domain. aquatic nature. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. You sound. You made it sound more fancy. Well, I, I mean, guess... they call me Shusha the Awakened for for reasons. The Awakened. Why? Why? Why do they call you the Awakened? I have been enlightened beyond those of my people. Insight? Sure. Insight. Ew. Uh, yeah, see, this seems to be telling the truth. He just seems to be kind of like a a smarter, wiser Kuatoa, apparently. Wonderful. All right, well, uh, it's good. We, I'm, I'm glad we have someone of your um, in, in light, enlightenment on our uh, in our party. Um, but we should probably get on our way now. Uh, Ron. Right, we'll kind of grumble a little bit and uh, start following you back to the shore. All right. Get All right, right, can I talk to you once you get on shore? In decent. You said Syra. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Come on. What'd you ask me? I just asked if I could talk to you once um, you get on shore in is decent. He, uh, you, the you owl, kinda, owl kinda, turns kinda. his head around toward <laughs> towards where you and and uh, Haley are um, uh, doing girl stuff, and um, and hoops to let you know that somebody was looking for you. Oh, and she'll kind of yell out, I "I'll be there in a moment." Appreciative. And she'll she'll kind of start making her way out and. And again, she's kind of illusioned herself, but you'll see her like wringing her hair out. And as she does, she's like prestigitating all the water out just to dry it off quick. Your your owl is going to be the BBDG. <laughs> Here's hoping. Haley, in the meantime, uh, she's she's gotten out of the water. She's being. She's not trying to be modest in any sort of way. She'll walk out from behind the rock while she starts dressing. <laughs> How does the water appear on her since she is a water genasi? Um, she looks very smooth and as if she was made made of water. So it's as she dries off, it becomes more of just like regular bluish skin. But uh, she looks more of like, like as if she was a full fledged water elemental, okay. in, in humanoid form, and uh, just as she dries off and the water drips off, um, she becomes less so, more opaque. I suppose I don't. Know. If I am not dressed by the time that either of the women get out of the water. I will cover myself up. I would assume you probably put your pants on first anyways. <laughs> so she'll go and get dressed and she'll come out to whoever called her. That'd be I. Uh, Roderick's, uh, Roderick's nearby but looking away. Yeah. Like totally modest. being modest. Of course, he's also dripping wet. And his, and his uh, uh, clothes that he does that he does wear is currently soaked to the bone. Or do you all need help getting getting dry? Yeah, I kind of noticed every so often you always seem pristine. Like even though we were dirty and stuff, you were pristine. So I figured you might have some kind of spell to help at least dry off these clothes. Well. A lady of my stature 
always must present herself with nobility. So, Jim Jar just finishing him. getting getting uh, uh, dressed back, is putting on on his uh, vest. It says, "You know, you could have taken up some of that clothing off before you actually went into the water, right?" I mean, you don't have to take off the whole thing. It's uh, yeah, the, my uh, undergarments are a my, little bit. But soaked, now my but clothes are clean. I'm pretty dry. But they're clean now. They got a lot of the grime off and stuff. So yeah, that, more, that was the point of it. I think we were more worried about the uh, about the body odor than we were anything but our clothing. Yeah, but if you go halfway, then I go the full way. Yeah, I suppose you could say that's true. It's the drying off which becomes an issue. Yeah, but see, like I said, I noticed Tiara, Sierra had a knack of staying clean and all, even though with everything going on, so I figured maybe she had something that she can help me out. So that's why I did it. No, to each their own. And then, I mean, what if she refuses? And he that just walks away. That is, that is very much a thing. Well, if I can help my, my group stay presentable, I'm more than willing to help out. Because you can warm up my clothes and then they would dry off and stuff, right? Because don't you have that... What was what it? My master tried to teach him so often. Press the digitation? Some? Digitation, my dear. Digitation. That's but... it. That's it. Because you can warm me up. <laughs> Digitation. Thank you. That levio now, is that, was that Dustin who didn't know how to pronounce prestidigitation, or was that Roderick? That was Roderick. I know okay. how to spell press, uh, uh, not spell, pronounce prestidigitation. <laughs> okay, just double checking. He's he's, not, he's like a little up there on the intelligence, but not quite up there. <laughs> He is wild. If she'll start, she'll start just having this this warm kind of air, just kind of surround your body, and just kind of feel the the water evaporate off. There, how's that? Oh, that is mighty swell. I thank you so much. Of course, of course. Does anyone else need help? I mean, I can probably use to have my cl my clothes cleaned now that I've got my body taken care of. But, uh, you know what? I'm not going to impose. I would appreciate it, but I'm not going to require it. Cyrus personal no, no. <laughs> no, no, I can't have you catching cold. That's the last thing we need. You look over at the stool. Stool doesn't wear clothes. <laughs> He seems to be kind of dry. He looks a little thicker, though. He's thick. You got them thickums over there. So she'll go down the line. If anybody wants to be helped ride, she will. Uh, most of them seem uh, relatively okay. Uh, Shushar completely denies. Mainly because that's kind of his thing. <laughs> Uh, but uh, uh, Sarah's will definitely accept. Prince Darendel says, this, this fur in this form is just awful. I appreciate any help in helping me dry off. Uh, Sarah humbly accepts the offer. And he, for some reason, keeps looking off in, the, in a certain direction. Longingly. With this beach episode, it is getting kind of late, you feel. It's been a long time. Everybody seemed to be much more relaxed. You probably lost a day of travel. It was much needed. It was much needed. Okay. And what is... What has Y been doing all the time? What is who? Why? Why? Uh, he's been taking more samples of the water. He's actually kind of gone uh, more up off from the shore and is looking at some uh, lichen 
He's got a like magnifying glass and he's got a notebook that he's writing down notes. Fuck, I was muted. Uh um What about Eldis? Oh, Eldis joined joined Haley and Syrah. Okay. I'm just gonna say that. It's canon now. The girls went off and did girl things. I was just making sure everyone was okay. Uh, uh, while Haley wasn't as modest, we have a levels of modesties. Uh, Syra was very modest. Eldith was not as modest, but still modest. And Haley didn't really give a rat's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she is a barbarian. Barbarian. Um, Barbarian. But you did notice that the uh, but Haley completely declined any offer for drying her off. It do, you, you do see see some bubbles in her hair then. Oh, well, I am pooped. We should probably find camp. Gage was also very modest. Uh, and kept watch on the shore, even though he did go clean himself off. But he did it without taking as much. He was staying very much near the shore, just barely cleaning himself off. And he kept watch around, basically guarding his party. Thank you for your protection. That is what I do. Uh, Sarah will ask why. Do you know of any good places to, to any safe places to stay while we while we rest? Well, a city would be the perfect place to go, uh, but uh, again, it's not very close from here unless you know can do what I do, which is teleport. The only problem is. I can only teleport to other members of my society. I'm not exactly sure where they are. I'm scheduled to meet up with Blurg soon here. Are you... Does he have a spellbook? He said he had a notebook, but does he have a spellbook? Is he saying anything important? Uh, he, I, I'm asking him if he had any, if he if he knew of any safe places for us to rest. But he suggested a nearby city, but he can't teleport us like he can. Did you tell him that we're on our way towards a possible city and we have no other you, way of getting there? Then I think I did when I first met him, didn't I? And he can only do it, he says, we can only do it once a day, so we always have to rest up before we do it. Uh, I've been here for about, about a day already, and I needed, I'm almost done with my assessment of the area. Well, I will be leaving, leaving soon. Soon, but I do need to finish up all my notes for God's assistance. Be careful of Ferris Wells. Don't try teleporting, it causes issues. Can you can you point us towards Greco's Duke? Point you off towards one of the caverns. I mean, if you follow yeah, the dark yeah. lake, basically keep the dark lake on your right. You'll come across it. It is right on the dark lake. Out of curiosity, yeah. sure. can I look in the direction of where he pointed? You sure. you see a, a rock wall. And there's a just like a ca round cavern entrance. I feel like or a cave entrance. I feel like he's just making fun of us now. Yeah, I was gonna say, can I can I inside him to see if he's like screwing with me? Oh, uh, uh... sure. I, I was kind of role playing it as if, because uh, I don't know what he's saying, and I I want to know what he's saying, so I wanted to 
like look no. at what he was pointing at. Yeah, he's he, he's pointing at Ida Cave, which is kind of in the direction to Grackle's dude that you're aware of. Oh, I know, but and, no, and then was... he kind of point he he kind of makes this hand gesture like pointing towards the dark lake, and kind of like on your right. Sort of thing. Yeah, I was just trying to judge if what he was because he said he just teleports around. So I was like, no, we don't have to teleport you'll... around that much, but. But she'll, can, she'll turn back and only have say, limited well, capacity. He says if we follow, keep the lake to our right, go through that tunnel, we should end up in Grekelstuk soon. That is awesome. That makes sense. Yavo! Uh, th- does he... Does he uh, I don't know. I, I feel like common is a common thing to speak. <laughs> On the surface. Oh, sure. You, you you can definitely think that common is a common language to speak. Because you're from the surface world. You're not from the Underdark. I can tell you they actually have their own language down here. <laughs> actually call there, there is a language called Undercommon. Undercommon. <laughs> I'm fluent in that. I can help teach you it. The, oh, this is pretty new to me. Uh, I've been a surface dweller all my life. Well, same uh, here. I just found a book on it um, when I was in my monastery one time, and since there wasn't much else to do at the time, I just I I, I read a lot. Uh yeah, a new language under my belt would be neat. All right. Well, every day we can I can teach you some stuff. Nice. Thanks. Uh, how, for now. How long will... How lo- how does that work again? Teaching languages? How long does that take? Uh, that's a good question. I think it's a combination mm-hmm. of time and plus twenty mod like with the modifier and stuff. I think, I think intelligence. <laughs> yeah, it's dealing with intelligence for sure. Uh, I believe. Um. So I was pretty much a soldier. And, you know, a grunt. So, my intelligence isn't that great. Plus one. In case that matters. So, I guess we can settle down somewhere and start a walk. Eldest, find us somewhere to sleep, please. Receive, receiving training in a language or tool typically takes at least 10 work weeks, but this time is reduced by a number of work weeks equal to the character's intelligence modifier. What? Intelligence penalty doesn't increase the time needed. So if you have a plus one... Uh, Roderick could probably teach you in about nine work weeks. Oh, he has a plus one? Yeah, okay. so nine. So 90 days. Because weeks in the nine forgotten days? realms. That, yeah, because weeks in a forgotten realms is, is a 10 day. So nine, 10 days. It will take me to teach you under common. Okay. So if you guys are together for three months, <laughs> by the time you're done, you might know under Kahneman. Uh, Take some time. All right. So uh, in this cavern, you probably uh, pretty much find a a good area. Um, there's not as much much cover necessarily but there there is a kind of a little kind of like alcove where it's, there's a bunch of rocks that are tall enough to kind of hide behind uh but it's a little more open like somebody was pretty easily climb over the rocks or if they were flying through this cavern it's a very large cavern but very open but like on most 
beaches across the United States, at least, uh, there's probably some sort of rocky alcove where you guys can bed down and have at least some cover for the evening. All right, then I guess start a lot. I, I can do first lot if no one else wants to. Go ahead. All right. Lester, roll me a uh, perception check. And... This is an assuming that no one wants to do anything before we settle down. Yeah, does anybody want to do anything before you go to bed? Um, Sarah would be kind of curious about what uh, why he's been writing down and what why is he studying things. I start the train the uh, learning process of teaching him under uh, Lasseter under common. Okay. Uh, why explains to you he's part of a society called. The um, Society of Brilliance. Uh, they are a bunch of undercommon folk which are, are currently studying the effects of Pharaoh's res in the area um, and any of the natural wildlife or natural instances of where it's happened. Trying to figure out maybe why it shows up in such concentrations in some way, some places. Uh, and uh, why and what causes it to grow or what effects it might have in different concentrations. This particular location was a nice wide open place and seemed to not really have it. So he's studying the location to figure out if there might be something here that prevents Ferris Res from uh, taking root in the area. Before you actually all bed bed down for, or as you're bedding down for the night, he actually does end up teleporting away. Before you start the first watch, but that's the uh, soon so, events. We'll just write all that stuff down in her her spell book. Um, I'm gonna like uh try to keep track of the days that we spend uh, learning. Okay. Mark one day down. 89 to go. <laughs> and every day we have a chance, like before the long rest, I will just, I'll just automatically say that anytime right before a long rest, I will spend some time with Lassiter teaching him under cup. 90 days later. I know on a common dies. <laughs> no, that'd be on day 89. <laughs> One day away. All right. Uh, first watch 10 perception. 10 perception. Okay. Unless you want me to reroll. Nope. <laughs> Your watch seems to go by peacefully. Yay. I will wake up. Um Ron. Let's wake up Ron. Ron, uh and it grumbles and he looks at you, he looks around, sees everybody asleep, and uh, has a sly grin. <laughs> he 
gives you a uh, really deep kiss. And then, and as he's doing that, he's laying you down, kind of tucking you in. Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> Owe me a wisdom save. Okay. Cow, 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 cow. 17. Okay. Um, how does this kiss affect you? Uh, I it wasn't, probably wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily, you were quite expecting him to do that as you were waking him up. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be able to sleep for some time. I'll give you the choice of how that affects you. <laughs> All right. He's going to... Do you all uh, sleep for a while? Yeah, let's see. Oh. Uh, Syra, uh, you uh, essentially finish your long rest, but you do feel the nudge of somebody waking you up. Um, it is Shushar, and says, uh, "Can you? Can you? Would you be take, willing to take a watch? We didn't really plan this out last night." You do oh, feel God, relaxed as and rested, so you're enough that you. That you've completed a long rest, isn't okay. So, cons, uh, okay, okay, just give you a moment to to wake up. It takes me a moment to fall asleep, so I will still be around. And he kind of like goes and lay, lays down uh, against the um, wall of a rock near where the entrance was, so he can kind of still keep an eye. I out while you're getting yourself ready. We'll take your watch. And as soon as you oh. take your watch or set up, nod, he closes his eyes and seems to meditate and then eventually fall asleep. Okay. Oh, I'll get my watch. Go ahead and hold perception check. 24. Perception check. He perceives so he... much. I'm perceiving everything today. Yeah. Waves of the dark lake are rather soothing. You look out upon the shore across the way, probably about 100 feet from where your little alcove that you that you found earlier it's very peaceful. It'll be under dark. And soon everybody starts to regain consciousness. Having completed their long rest. Uh, Laster is currently being uh, 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 completely engulfed in, in a raunt. Who's currently spooning him. In a raunt. Yeah. <laughs> kind of been a runt. Mm -hmm. right. Have a work here. Yep. Hey, <laughs> you could go up. swimming if you wanted to. <laughs> I'm 
what? That'll be some good cardio. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, have a quick little morning beach beach episode, just enough to kind of like everybody wake up and uh, Ron to actually drink some of the water of the dark lake. He sort of says, "The water here is quite clear." Uh, so yeah. Master does not need to spend his soul saw to create water. He can actually. Now that you're no longer afraid of the dark lake. <laughs> nice. You can refill your water skins and already be full up on water. Oh, we need our good berries. From our lovely <laughs> leaf. Provides you with the with the good berries. So, uh, I He's hope been casting not... it so often. He now uh, it's become a cantrip for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works. He That'd knows cool. it so well. He can do it super fast on the fly. He's like get a buffet of <laughs> of good berries. <laughs> Just need enough for everybody. That's it. How to destroy? Uh... The world's ecosystem. The only thing is, good berries aren't necessarily fully satisfying. Like you feel, you don't feel hungry. It nourishes you as if you have eaten all day, but you haven't had that actual sensation of actually eating food. Yeah, but that's all. You we just need. don't have to worry about going hungry. And nutritionally speaking, you've had all the nutrition you need for the day. That's why. I that's why I've had Cyro press digitate it to at least it tastes like something, you know. Because they're, they're only about this big. I mean, they're very <laughs> big. I mean, I would Bear. say they're they're along the lines of a of like a blueberry versus they are, like a are, strawberry or anything. They're Flintstone vitamins. Yeah, essentially, bigger than a Flintstone vitamin, and probably a lot. Tastier than a Flintstone vitamin, but do they even carry Flintstone vitamins anymore? Yeah, yeah. they do. Ate those things like yeah. candy. Right. So I guess we'll eat, drink, and pack up and start our journey. Yeah. All right, Lassiter, roll me a d20. I refuse. All okay. right. Good job. That's me, combat. So you enter into the uh, cave, which, because the rock actually kind of goes up to the dark lake, so there isn't really any way to really stay next to Dark Lake on the shore because you've run out of shore. So you enter into the cave entrance near to the shore and it starts to narrow down. Everybody has to move into the single file method and there is no light in the area. I'm assuming light gets to cast by appropriate people. Probably on Haley's axe again or Wherever you want to put it. Probably. Oh, the light spell? Yeah, because yeah. there is no light sources. Um, yeah, I'll ask, I'll ask Haley where she wants it, and... <laughs> and... Raising. Hey, man. Haley's I... like, I didn't think it, like you were that type of man. <laughs> I, uh... I kind of belong to someone already, so, you know. Oh, I know, I saw. <laughs> what y'all did in the lake, you dirty birdies. Get on for you. I blush. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll, I'll tap her, um, axe, I guess. And there you go. Blinding. Yeah, 
she's able to easily carry that off off as you walk for her. a nice good long eight hours uh how long do we like a uh, walk for I would say that you probably walk for about eight hours a day. Say that again. Say say you probably walk for about eight hours a day in shifts, so, so you're not like constantly walking for eight hours. But At some... you take some some short rest, maybe a little bit longer rest here and there. Uh, okay. As people get tired, I'm sure uh, people help carry um, stool on occasion, um, considering he's not very fast and he's quite little. <laughs> At some point during our walk, as nothing's happening, I get bored and take uh, one of my mushrooms. Um, mind you, I don't have any way. I don't really have a way of um, like separating them from each other. So, uh. Would they had gotten mixed up by now? Uh, no, they, well, you would Lord, be able to really tell which is which, just because of the shape. Yeah. Oh, I will take... Hung of Madness. Right. You eat some of the uh, spongy, human tongue-shaped uh, fungi. And I need you to make me a constitution saving throw. Hi. For an hour... You can possibly time. speak aloud every thought that you have. Uh, so it would pretty much be a, an hour of me just saying, <laughs> how, how much longer are we going to be out here? Oh my god, I really want to drink, uh... Uh, I want, want to bend me over. That too. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, I mean, Roderick, that, you yeah. scare me. Uh, Not the first time we said that. You see, you hear some, some uh, uh giggling from, uh. Jim Jar's back as uh, he's taken his turn of uh, carrying stool around. Stool doesn't weigh that much, so he barely Jim Jar barely notices it on his back. Hey, uh, but he's giggling at at Lasseter, constantly speaking. You keep on cutting out for me. I don't know if that's same. Okay. Well, I was just about. To I don't something. know why. I think that's a Discord thing. It's probably a Discord thing. Hold on. Here we go. Do this. Blah. Blah. Does it sound like I'm not being cut out? Stay a long sentence. Oh, we can't hear you. Yeah. Uh, other way then. How about this? Just, there we go. Many mumbly mice are making mighty music in the moonlight. Mighty nice. Many mumbly mice. Okay. That, that sounds that, better. That was nice. <laughs> turn off the automatic and turn it all the sensitivity way down. Although then you probably hear my heater running. I don't know. I'd rather hear that than constantly. Yeah. Okay. And I figured that out. Um, but I understood. 
nothing really. You started talking about Jim Jim Jar. Yeah, uh, Stool is currently on Jim Jar's back. Uh, he plays practically nothing, so Jim Jar barely even notices. Uh, um, uh, he's carrying around Stool, and he's giggling, giggling at last, or just speaking his every thought. He 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 can no. He kind of knows why. Just boredom. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, um. I think he specifically, like, uh, say, like, him not trusting what's his face, uh, Saris, just creeps me out. Um, no offense or anything, just, like, you're really creepy, dude. I have no idea what you're talking about. Me neither. Just stop creeping me out. Just, I don't know what you're talking about. I am a perfectly fine gentleman. Gentle drow. I mean, we're we're going to take stool home, right? That That's is the way the goal, that you yes. talk. Once man. we stop at Grecklesburg. Oh, I hope we don't stay long. What do you need to get back to Neverlight Grove? Well, War of Durgar don't really like Drow as much. Strangely enough, my people take them as slaves. They take us as slaves. It's a nice back and forth. I don't want to be made as slaves. You want to go to the Light Grove? Take Stool I, home. I honestly don't think anyone would want you as a slave. Well, that's good. No, it's not. Well, I wouldn't want to be a slave. You'll, you'd probably be dead. Jesus, shut me up. Error passes. <laughs> Shushar looks at you and is like, maybe you shouldn't uh, eat those things. Maybe if we uh, hurried up, and got to like a tavern, I'd have something else to fill my time. Uh, during one of your rests, uh, Stool is uh, talking to Jim Jar and he, he kind of points to a little location just off the path and find a little bit of an open area where you can rest instead of just in a, this like charged up corridor. Um, and they go running off for a few minutes, and they come back, and they're both giggling. Well, uh, uh, Stool is giggling. Ront has this, or not Ront, uh, Jim Jar kind of has this, like, mischievous grin on his face. You said Stool is g um, giggling? Yes. We can hear him giggle? Mm-hmm. Oh. He can't really speak, but he does have, like, he breathes. So he can... <laughs> that was the most cutest thing. <laughs> um, I think we've already determined stool is baby. <laughs> uh, what what are y'all you two laughing about? I'm sorry. What are you laughing about, stool? Uh, stool shakes his head and. Uh, Spores come out, and you can't help but uh, inhale them. And you hear in your your head, "Oh, nothing." Well, <laughs> that's really all he does. He breathes in your fucking chest, man. He, I didn't, he, I don't from what you from what you can tell, this little mushroom man uh, is currently uh, grinning. Okay. Well. Keep your secrets. Uh, 
Um, um, Roderick, you owe me a lesson in uncommon. Not uncommon, undercommon. Undercommon. That's part of the lesson is teaching him it's actually undercommon, not uncommon. Not a rare because thing. it is very common, it's just in the underground. Exactly. It's not my common. <laughs> well, that's just prejudicial. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. Had to. All right, let's get some survival checks to see if you guys can find a uh, nice place to rest. Oh, yeah. I would definitely say uh, Roderick is able to find a nice hidden alcove, which leads into a cave. Very hard to see from the path you've been traveling on, which really only has two ways to come in. But he was able to spot it. As enough open area for everybody to lay down and rest. Comfortably. Are right, there going... any side effects? Well, not side effects, but uh, uh, not long-lasting effects. But uh, after taking the mushroom, after an hour, is there like a downfall? It doesn't seem to. Okay. Doesn't seem to be. You just you you you're just rambling in subconscious thoughts, and then all of a sudden you you continue past the hour, but then you realize, oh, the thing's making me do this. I'm just doing this on my own, and then you quickly shake it off. By the way, how many of those have you had? I have four more. I'm I'm keeping okay. track. But how many of the tongue of madness have you eaten? That was my second one. That was your second one? There will be wisdom save. Okay. I mean, you crit. I mean, so... It's... <laughs> Whatever it was, doesn't seem to have done anything. All right, who wants to take a uh, first watch after lesson in Undercommon? Who actually sits down and watches you have the lesson? Do it. Uh, you do hear a couple of uh, 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 school laughters on occasion. With laughters fumbling over some Undercommon words. Silly, silly <laughs> giggly these days, stool. I'll take first watch. Everybody uh, goes to lay down. Um, obviously, Ront makes sure that Laster is between his legs. Um, Where he belongs. Yes. Uh, little Borkad uh, kind of curls up next to Ront. Strangely enough, not really next to Laster, but it very much seems that he's curling up next to Ront. Um, stool does come up uh, to you, Roderick, and he has a uh, little water skin offering you some water. I appreciate it. Thank you. Don't need this. And he kind of curls up next to you while you take your watch. All right. Go ahead and uh, roll me a perception check. Do you, do you have some of the water? Yes. Yeah. I, I need you to roll me a constitution saving throw. Oh, no. <clears throat> Did you say 10 was the number to beat? Yep. Uh, no, I didn't no. say 10 was the number to beat. Just wanted you to roll a constitution saving throw. So, uh, Roderick, what are you thinking about while you're uh, uh, taking this watch? Kind of meditating on everything that's happened. 
kind of information over the last couple of days. People have told me about me personally and stuff that's different and all. And um, kind of just do some self evaluation. Mm hmm. As you think about all this, you realize that you're not just thinking about it, you're also saying it aloud. You com are compulsively speaking aloud every thought. Well, that did, you you have. Take, did you put that, those mushrooms that Lassiter took in here? Uh, stool? Uh, roll me an inside check. Natural twenty. He's pretending to sleep, but you, I know you you're do awake. see you do see kind of like this like little vibration as if he's laughing. I know you're awake. I can tell. <laughs> he, he he turns around and he looks like he's rolling on the ground with laughter. It's his laughter doesn't sound like actual laughter. Just kind of like whistling through a uh, 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 air hole. That's sort of part of his mushroom-like form. form. And uh, he shakes his head and uh, some spores come out, which enter your body because you don't really inhale. Um, and you hear it in your head, don't worry, it just lasts for a short while. <laughs> I remember this little one. Jim Jar, help me out. Help me pick him. <laughs> I'll get you. Runs off. Those curls up next to Jim Jar. <laughs> but everybody's asleep besides uh, Stool. Stool actually looks like he ends up going going to sleep, but he's he's just very amused. Your watch goes by without incident otherwise. Uh, after an hour of talking to yourself. Talk about what happened at the monastery and... <laughs> you exposit a whole bunch of your backstory, but no one's there to really even realize you're saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who, who do you want to wake up for a watch? Or who wants to take next watch, I should say. I didn't work it out, so I just choose somebody, I guess. Um I'll I, wake I, up uh Lassiter. Lassiter, you're woken up by Roderick? Uh can I make some type of check to Try my best not to wake Ron up, no. but get out from his grasp. Oh, I see Roderick cast exposition. <laughs> By the way, side note for anybody who was wondering. Because of a certain thing that happened in another one of my D&D games, games where I had, had set, stated... I cast exposition. I was also playing a rogue, which does not have the spell casting feature because I was not an arcane trickster. And uh, someone was getting confused on what that meant. So I actually literally created an evocation cantrip, casting time of one no action, uh, with the range of sight and the components of visual with instantaneous, where you exposit information of your choice to every creature that can hear you. Isn't the V vocal? Uh, visual. Uh, yeah, vocal. Sorry. <laughs> um, visual is semantic. If you do not have the spell casting uh, uh, feature uh, or have a place where you can add a cantrip, you can add it for free by getting the expositor feat on D and D Beyond, which will give you allow you to cast the evocation cantrip at will. No, no restrictions to how many times a day you can cast exposition. <laughs> so, just there it, you. it's 
just a dumb little thing. <laughs> but was used so much. <laughs> it is the most used cantrip nowadays. <laughs> And, uh, moving on. That's, where were we? Lasseter. You're, 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 you're trying to roll a, uh, check for, trying to wake up, um. Not to see, wake up. Not wake up. I would say. Just roll me a straight dexterity check. If you're a proficient in, like, sleight of hand, then you can use that, but I don't think acrobatics am... would necessarily be appropriate. Okay. Um, Yeah, you don't wake up on Ront. I didn't think of it. Also, you, you've realized that Ront is a heavy sleeper. Okay. When he's asleep. And I will start my walks. Okay. First off, uh, mm -hmm. uh, soldier habit. I'm going to uh, uh, count everyone, count everyone's head, make sure everyone's here and okay. Everyone's there. Okay. And start my watch. Try to roll me a perception check. Reason, perception is like the most used skill, but I can never find it my first try. 23. 23. Do you cast light? Uh, For Haley? For you. Oh, wait a minute. No, you do have dark vision. Never mind. Nor me. Yeah, I, keep forgetting, I keep forgetting that you have dark, dark vision. Devil sight. All right, so you're looking around, um, watching. It's it's a lot of rock, rock, or rock. You're a slight blowing of like air traveling through the ca caves. Um, during this time, I'll pick up little rocks and throw them at bigger rocks. Okay. You toss some rocks. Ding, ding, ding. Click. Click. Ding. Not really hitting metal, it's just rock against rock. And your watch passes and nothing happens, so. Moving on to the next watch. Uh, I will wake up Dyra. Dyra Lasser is nudging you awake. So it goes, ooh. <laughs> kind of half, half, being half awake, she'll kind of turn to Silva, like, oh, please be a dear. I, I'm just, uh, I'm not ready to be awake yet. She'll kind of turn back around and just fall asleep. Silva goes, <laughs> goes, ooh. And just kind of like hops to Lassiter, towards Lassiter. And he's, he's just like, Staring you. Who? You feel uh, uh, you feel some like. feet climb up the your your back, and then a pseudo dragon, a gold pseudo dragon head appears next to your head, uh, Lassiter, and looks over. Uh, he goes, Meh, and he says, "Just leave it to her." <laughs> okay. She'll perch up somewhere. And and then, so <laughs> Sova flies over <laughs> next to the entrance. And takes its perch. That's I'm weird. assuming oh. uh, then you take your perch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, can I make 
the the deck save again to yeah like, sure I could yeah uh, whoops all right um so uh you go you go to lie down in your appropriate position uh and uh all of a sudden um uh, his right leg kind of starts curling around you and kind of ends up you end up kind of like rolling over and there's like a hand reaches under your your armpit and moves you up and you're now being fully spooned and just wrapped in runt this is acceptable too you you currently have uh, the uh face um of a mouth breathing orc resting uh just right next to you on top of your head i bet he Basically can do anything he'll pill. say that is acceptable i'm sorry what <laughs> I have a feeling that he could do anything, and you'll be like, that is acceptable. Because you haven't said no once. I mean, he's not doing it, like, hard. He's just, like, it It, it doesn't seem like he's actually woken up or anything. It's just his Some body is reacting to, to a new hello? Body oh. pillow? Do you feel some something hard in your butt at your butt? So moving on. Someone's at the back door. We're going into the Ding dong. And uh so as Prince said, Oops. it's utterly quiet. Flies up onto another perch and turns around. It's down the hallways. Still a very narrow passage besides this little off room, for lack of a better word. Nothing happens. <laughs> so, uh, um, just stays up there for the rest of the evening. And everybody slowly regains consciousness. Everybody's awake and Sova's still on, on his on the perch. Keeping watch. Um Boone, am I faced away from the opening? Like from uh where Silva is or away from Silva? Roll me a d20. Oops. You are currently facing away from Silva. Okay. Anybody, uh, if Silva turns his head around like he's wont to do? Uh, all he sees is the back of Runt. He does seem like there's uh, Runt has an extra leg or two, but other than that. Um, well, I can't get up, so... Runt also regains con consciousness, uh, gives you a little uh, peck in the neck. And uh, unwraps himself from you. Gets up and stretches. I get up and stretch. Just pr pretty much a miniature stretch of Ronda. <laughs> this is a little mimic of <laughs> mimicking thing. Ron does it's a stretch. Lasser does the exact same stretch. Good enough for master. It's good enough for me. <laughs> How'd you sleep, big guy? Mm, well enough. That's good. Uh, 
I think we can do one more day. Oh. All right. You head off. Uh, are you going to change your pace? Uh, I haven't asked that in the past couple of times. I bet I assume you're just walking at normal pace. Uh, we'll go since we got a little behind. We'll go at a fast pace today. Plus, we got somewhat directions on where we're going, so we know we're close. So it's like we want to get there. Yeah, we're told follow the lake and. All right, need somebody to roll me a D four. I'll do it. It would be your day to, to do this. All right, you're traveling to through some more narrow corridors. Uh, it seems like you have gotten to the point where you're kind of uh, in a, a stuck position. Um, and as you're walking along, long, there's a tremor in the the tunnels. Everybody kind of moves to the side. The side to, again. Everybody moves to the side to, uh, to brace themselves while the trouble, tremor comes in. But uh, faced in the back of the yeah, here. You can take a look at your marching order. Yeah. In the back, uh, Runt and uh, Lassiter are almost crushed as the cave uh, caves in behind you. Well, behind us? Back that way. Okay, cool. We're not split up then. Cool. <laughs> Uh, Is everyone all right? Uh, I am I in the back or is Ront in the back? Oh, Ront's keeping you next to him. Yeah. Uh, so am I in front of him or in back of him? You're he's he's keeping you in front. Okay. Well, uh, fact. Let's uh let's uh, get you on the map. See where we have. Uh, they're no longer there. No longer. There. He's down uh, here. here. I currently cannot see anything. That's okay. I haven't put you guys on the map yet. I need to move you guys around. Bear with me. Actually, it ended up getting more of like a two by two. And Haley in front. You do notice that there is seems to be a crevice that broke open during the um, during the cave in uh, near uh, Jim Jar and a Sarath and stool. Um, I'd like to like uh, check stability of like a uh, cave caves that a. Uh came down on us yeah you check it you kind of like start digging a little bit through uh it actually looks like it was a severe cave in um you it's pretty much stuck there in no way out there at this point in time there only looks to be one way out and that's um through this hole in the wall because um it almost crushed haley too just so you know, I can only see through Haley's eyes right now. I don't have Roderick's. Come on. 
gezeigt. How much is Roderick's night vision? 60. Do that. I work. Yep. Cool. And I'm actually, uh, this might take a little bit of time since we're on a specific map. So I'm going to actually call it here for the evening. We'll return here. We're going to jump into something. This thing that only the people who view this will know what the name of the location is. <laughs> people who are tuning in on Twitch. Hello, Kitty. Yeah. Twitch right now or watch the VOD later. Yeah, which I'll try to actually launch before the next session. <laughs> and, like, are we on 60? And where people will actually be able to hear hear the players. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you all, you all have a good night. I just don't want to like go on and on and on and on. Yeah. Being about twenty yeah. minutes before normal. Yeah. We don't. All right. Well. All right. We will um, see you all next week for Bears and Dragons.